before we go to the main theme of this video, which is the setting up of my office and sewing nook, I just wanted to show you this um, latest treasure finds that I thought you would enjoy seeing. So I got this vintage porcelain napkin rings together with other things from a seller who is decluttering or disposing of all her worldly goods because they are transferring to another house and she is um, disposing of all the things that she has accumulated through the years. Actually, I had gotten most of, if not all of her stem wares, the glass wares. And I also have uploaded them in my online store. Now we are going to look at this porcelain floral napkin rings like this one look so ever since i had my youtube channel and i am enjoying sharing my mm, table settings i have also started collecting napkin rings in different materials designs and colors so there's a lot of this and maybe i'm going to share a few through selling on my online store look at this one so they haven't been cleaned yet but just imagine how pretty they will look in a table setting with, for example, um, Victorian, floral Victorian or French country or French provincial. Look at this. This is an iris. So I am not really sure how many they are. But I think it's more than a dozen. And go, we are going to look at them one by one. Just to enjoy. Look at that. a blue flower it's just so pretty and i think this is another iris you remember a few months ago i shared my loot of napkin rings floral napkin rings that i used for my oh there's a chip there Oh, I think that chip is still here. Well, such chips we can easily repair using E6000 or yeah, any other epoxy that is really strong like that. So we can repair that later. So I was um, saying uh, that was the, I think the French Victorian table setting. So I looked and looked for a floral napkin rings because even though I have hadn't seen one before, I knew that they existed in the world. And so I did find, and now even without looking for this um, porcelain napkin rings, they just landed on my lap, so to speak. And this is a tiger lily. Look, how cute is that? Another lily, it's in pink. I think this is the stargazer. And then there's another, there's another iris there. All right, so I'm also going to show you other floral 
porcelain from her. These ones. But the problem with this, these are very tiny, like floral decor, but most of them are chipped because they are so vintage like this one. Look, it's a daisy, but with chipped um, petals like that. And I can, we can't find the chipped pieces anymore. They can't be found anymore. But these are vintage Capo di Monte, Italy floral decor. Yeah, Capo di Monte, Italy. This one we repaired. That's the sticker there of Capo di Monte. All right. And then I just want, I also want to show you this. This one. Look, how beautiful is that? I have the same one. And that's Capo di Monte, Italy. There's no sticker for this, but I think it's also Capo. It's also Capo di Monte. Look at that. Those applied roses. Now, you can you, you may not believe this, but this was given free by the seller because she said that there should be another rose here, but it's already missing. It's been tipped off. So she gave this for free. And also this one. This is like, you know, the Wedgwood Jasper wear, but this is not Wedgwood. And there are applied roses here with the silhouette there and there's also a chipped ribbon like in this part but um she gave this for free and then also this one another free it's a basket of porcelain flowers purple flowers and there's a chipped portion of the basket here but then again this was given free these ones are porcelain flowers they are very vintage porcelain flowers yeah these are not free i bought them but again the the prices for this and including the stem wares that i got they are all a steal so i am just happy with my loot and i just wanted to share them with you hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel zoe home inspired living if you're new here welcome my name is rena and i thank you so much for subscribing and to those who leave their comments thank you so much they truly encourage me everyone in our family especially my daughter hannah knows that i need a home office a sewing room and an art studio but the problem is there's no more room left in the house each of our children hannah and tim has their own bedroom with a suite toilet and bath and then my husband has his den his private space where he resorts to when he wants something quiet when he wants to be alone and me i work everywhere you can find me doing my computer work in the kitchen or even sewing there and sometimes in the dining room. So my daughter Hannah is quite concerned that, yeah, I am everywhere in the house and I don't have my own room for all my crafts. Yes, yeah, so in this video, you will see me... Um, making room for my computer work and also for my sewing now my art supplies i keep them in our loft or mini library and sometimes i also paint there because of the natural lights just so full of light in in that um, area of the house for large canvas but often i just paint in bed which is more convenient for my problematic back and then there's the guest room which is downstairs 
The problem with the guest room is it's so tiny. After we have put in a queen size bed, a floor to ceiling cabinet and two small tables, there is not much room left. And truth be told, it's so full of my fabrics and curtains for repurposing, it's bursting at the seams. So the guest room is out of the question. Our house has a basement with its own gate and pathway going to the road. And it houses the maid's quarters, the laundry, ironing, and all my stock rooms. And it's so inaccessible for me in my condition. So that's out of the question as well. So what is left in the whole house that I could put in my office? and my sewing at least and my daughter has a suggestion this is another section of our bedroom which i could have used for my home office and even my sewing nook but we put this four seater dining set here which we use on the nights that i don't go down which is often so the family eats here uh, for dinners when I don't go down. So this is very useful for us. And actually, I use this to work on my computer and also to sew. But the problem is when dinner is ready, we have to prepare they i have to move i have to remove my imac i have to remove my sewing machine so it's quite a hassle and actually my daughter saw that because even if my work is still unfinished i have to move so this can't be used for my office or sewing because my work is always disrupted i love this corner of the bedroom ever since we moved here in this new house i have loved this corner and from day one i put this couch which came from the old house and look it straddles two windows and also this coffee table here I use it for photography for my products but it turns out that this is the only corner that we can put my office and sewing nook this is the corner that my daughter has been eyeing for this purpose and because also that this couch here is just a for decoration, we rarely use it, if at all. Um, it, on, it only carries my fabric sometimes when I sew. So this has to go. And even though I just love this view here with this couch, this has to go. And my office and sewing nook will be set up in this corner. These curtains are the very first curtains that I bought. They they were ready to use and because I was in a hurry to put curtains here in the rooms. But the problem was they were very short. So what I did, I bought extra and cut them off so that uh, I added those pieces here. So there are sewn pieces into the bottom of these curtains but still they were short and then i ordered another one on the using the correct length of the curtains but those are not um blackout curtains or even semi blackout our room here 
absorbs all the morning sun which could be very strong most mornings they are very strong so those curtains that i i ordered for supposed to be a replacement for these curtains wouldn't do so i put the back in these curtains which are very short but now we are also going to change these curtains after we have set up the office my office desk we have replaced the curtains with this um curtains they are customized according to my required length so they are not short anymore onto the floor they drop just that touching the floor which is something that i really required and these are blackout curtains and i just love the color it's darker than mocha This is a Bessarabian Hardin hand knotted silk floral area rug, which I got from my carpet and rug supplier. So this is a different one because it is silk and it's hand knotted, but it's full of flowers because I just love flowers. But then it shows some signs of wear. It's quite more than shabby, if I may say so. It's really, really shabby. It shows the signs of wear. So this is a vintage Bessarabian Hardin hand knotted silk rug. It's just a small rug for this space for my corner office and i think that it matches well with the new curtains as well share your opinion on the comments section below if uh, do you prefer very shabby rugs showing their age or do you prefer new ones that are vibrant and don't show any shabbiness. All of its brilliance, the king of glory, the king above all kings. This is amazing grace. This is a fairy love that you would take my place.
So this is my corner office and sewing nook. I think that I like it. I'm growing to love it. Although to be honest, I really miss my couch here and my coffee table, which where I put beautiful things on. But I needed to choose function over form. So this is my office now and look at the view. And this is my view while working on my computer. It's just the mountains beyond and the sky. And further there, beyond the grove of um, that's mango trees and acacia trees. I don't know if you can see, but there's a golf course there. I hope to be inspired to be writing on my blog again, Our Healing Moments, a journal of my faith journey. And I also write on our company's website. So that's the view when I'm working on my computer. And this is the view when I'm sewing. There's a hill there with grove of bamboos, bamboo trees and acacia trees as well. And the blue sky, of course. It's the other window. So that's the view. much for watching i am preparing a very special episode on table setting so watch out for that i hope to be able to complete all the elements for my romantic french tablescape so see you on next video please don't forget to like share and subscribe god bless bye Mais... <laughs>